First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. The water to Yahweh Bahashem, Shai, for allowing me to do another lesson, and this lesson is going to be in transit. Just want to speak upon, um, you know, seeing brothers are doing their own, own responses, brothers and elders, so like it, or the apostles, elders, and brothers doing responses as well on um, these hat wearing niggas, you know, to uh, uh, to put it, man. And hey, man, let's get on what Yahweh Shai said. Let's let Yahweh Shai tell it. Dudes didn't learn nothing from uh, from Brother Polite. This is Matthew chapter five, verse eleven. I start at verse ten. You know, fucking little. Uh, Whippersnappers, man. You know, and I'm young myself, but I say that with, I say that behind the apostles and elders, man. You know, I say that behind the apostles and elders. Coming from out of nowhere, you know, thinking you're running the show. That doesn't make, that doesn't uh, seem strange to you? Well, of course it doesn't, man. That, that seems strange to me, man. If a young fucking whippersnapper man comes out of nowhere thinking he's running, especially when when we have an Eastern mentality of, of elders and, you know, um, pretty much like a governmental structure. You know, to have some young dude uh, come out of nowhere and, and really thinking that he's the top guy, that, 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 come on, man. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse uh, 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And guess what? The reason why you call us these, the reason why you slander us and lie on us and demonize us. You know, it's for righteousness sake, man. Because Apostle Tahar, man, he only spoke of what what what's mentioned in the scriptures. Okay? And everything that's written in the scriptures is righteousness. So ultimately, he was only bringing out righteousness. Now, because it doesn't sit well with you, doesn't mean, doesn't take away that it's still righteousness. Because it's coming from the inspiration of the Most High. It's coming from the most, it's stamped by the Most High himself, man, so to speak. So if you think that we're blessed for being persecuted for righteousness sake, what do you think is on the other side of the coin for those that are doing the persecution all right, for their own uh, evil agenda's sake? And this isn't, you know, this lesson isn't for, for these guys, so to speak. It's just um, being put out there because it's still truth. You know, like Jeremiah said, he said, uh, I'm not going to speak in the name of the Lord no more. But then he said, the fire 
was burning within him to, to, to where he had to give utterance, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So that's kind of how I feel, man. You know? Plus, whoever may hear it may, it may turn them from following after these guys because these guys are headed down a very grievous path. And matter of fact, I want to get Matthew 7. And then you got uh, goofballs that join in. <laughs> Hide your kids. <laughs> the great millstone, they're around. <laughs> I remember that one girl posted that. I wonder how she's doing these days. Wonder how you doing these days. So anyway, this is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 7, verse 15, as you can see in the easy English. It says, watch out for prophets who tell you wrong things about the Most High. And for you to persecute us for righteousness sake, for the Most High's sake, is for you to ultimately be telling wrong things of the Most High. Remember, we're the Most High's, we're the Most High's mouthpiece. I would never follow some fucking young whippersnapper, man, that just came out the goddamn blue. That probably been in the truth as long as I've been in the truth, man. For that sake, over proven, diligent, experienced, you know, What's the, uh, what's the, uh, well seasoned, highly well seasoned men who's been doing this before I was fucking born. A mind, think about that mindset, yo. The mindset to, 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 to say, nah, I'm gonna get down with these guys, yo, new school. I'm gonna get down with these guys. They more lively and you know, it's more fun and I could, look, look at your mindset. And then you really expect the Yahweh Shai to show you the truth? That's why, like Yahweh Shai said about to Peter, said when he said, "Who do men say that I am?" And Peter said, "You, you the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. You are the Messiah." And Yahweh Shai said, "Well, Peter, flesh and blood have not revealed this to thee, but my Father which is in heaven." So you think Yahweh, the most high power, our power, is going to reveal anything to you when you got a mindset of this camp seems more fun or this camp seems more entertaining or this camp seems more oh, worldly. Of course, you're not going to say worldly, but that's ultimately what you're looking for. A worldly camp. We can have your cake and you can eat it too. You think the Lord, you think the Most High man and Yahweh Shai is really going to reveal anything to you when you got that mindset? But if you have the mindset to where you you want to be a true worshiper, you love Yahweh Shmuel Shai first and foremost. You fear Yahweh Shmuel Shai even before that. You believe in Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you know wholeheartedly and and. And, and, and you're putting your Yahweh Shema Shai first. You follow the land with it. So if you go, you're sacrificing your life. I was just reading that. You had the man that said, Lord, what can I do? You know, to be in good standing, he pretty much was saying. And Yahweh Shai told him. Yahweh Shai ultimately read to him. The Ten Commandments. He started to brush off the Ten Commandments. Have no other gods before the Most High. Don't murder. Don't commit adultery. Honor your mother and father. Don't steal. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. And he said, Lord, I, I guess I'm good. I do all those things. It's like this is in transit. You know? But, uh, so I'm just quoting the scriptures. And then, and then, oh, uh, Yahushua said, oh, yeah? Well, sell all you have. Give it all to the poor. You know, and then uh, what? He couldn't do it. You 
No. But let me get back into this. It says uh, Matthew 7 and 15. It says, watch out for prophets who tell you wrong things about the Most High. These people seem to be like sheep that are not dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go, Brad. You know, think he's bringing out the scriptures. These guys. You know, not just him, but all, all the false prophets. They look like holy men of the Lord. They're racking in views. They're racking in likes. They're racking in money. Right? They seem cool. They seem well taught. Um, not even well taught. Um, pretty much of, a, of of well speech. So they seem cool. They seem to be like sheep, but are uh, 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 that are not dangerous, right? But they are really like hungry wild dogs. Meaning what, niggas? And you know what? That's what a hungry wild dog is. A hungry wild dog is a ninja, bro. In my previous lesson, I did, I, 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 I mentioned how you have two dogs, right? You have one dog that is obedient. You'll say, you'll be like, uh, hey, hey Scooby. You'll be like, yo, Scooby, come eat. And then he'll rush off from, from, from sitting stance to go eat. As the, as, the, as the food tinkles in the bowl, he'll sit there patiently, obediently, say, Scooby, come eat. And then he'll go and rush to eat. That's a respectable dog. That's a well-mannered, well-trained dog that's thankful and appreciative to be fed and to be sheltered. Then you'll have another dog, you know, as, as the food tinkles in, the, uh, in, the, in, his, in his tray, he'll come running and have his head, you know, in the bowl before you even done pouring he's untrained and you know you're trying to push him back and he's that's a ninja dog man that dog is he's a ninja he's greedy that's really how these how these dudes are they're ninjas man they're 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 not disobedient i mean they're not obedient so lock it they're not obedient they're not well mannered they're not respect like who disrespects their elders like that man Think about that, yo. Think about that, man. Who disrespects their elders like that, yo? The way I was already raised in the world, I was taught respect your elders, man. You don't even see us uh, cursing out Nate or, you know, none of these guys, man. Now, if, if it's a rebuke session, we, we get the scriptures, man. You know, to warn the people, yo, don't follow this. That's different. But a straight slander session with no scriptures, man. Man, come on, man. Get the fuck, man. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Excuse my French. I was told in the world, don't disrespect your elders, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, but he's teaching that you could grape little... Yeah, but we bring it out of the scriptures, man. Come on, bro. So it says, oh, what they teach will hurt you. All right? So following after them will get you hurt. Okay, so this is just a, uh, what's the uh, admonishment, you know, to uh, watch out for these dudes, man. You know, you're not slick and, you know, best believe, Ooh, hey, damn, I wouldn't want to be your ass, you know, but these, these false prophets got to come back, man. Low on this edifying with that, I'm going to say Shalom.